Batman vs. The Riddler Written by Donald Lemke Inside Wayne Manor, Gotham City's most powerful people had gathered. Wealthy businessman Bruce Wayne stood before them on a large stage. Welcome, everyone. Tonight I honor one of our finest, Police Commissioner James Gordon. <laughs> Commissioner, I am pleased to present you with a Golden Shield Award for cleaning up our streets. Thank you, Bruce. In fact, I want to thank everyone for their support. Especially my loving daughter. Where are you, Barbara? Is that a riddle? Standing in the middle of the room was the city's smartest crook. The Riddler stormed on stage, waving his question mark cane. Where would a teenage girl go? Shopping, of course. The villain flicked his wrist, and green smoke exploded from his cane. Seconds later, the smoke was gone, along with Gordon and the Riddler. As other guests fled to the exits, Bruce approached his butler, who knew his secret identity. Prepare the Batmobile, Alfred. Have you already solved the clue, sir? Of course. The best place to shop is where you'll find the most sales. Soon, the Dark Knight arrived at Gotham Harbor in the Batmobile. Dozens of sailboats rocked up and down on the wavy river. Batman walked along the docks, searching for another clue. Suddenly, he spotted a white sail flapping against the stormy sky. On it, the Riddler had written a second message in bold letters. Where do fish keep their loot? Hmm. That riddle's easy. Fish would keep money in a riverbank. The Dark Knight climbed down to the edge of the Gotham River. There was the third clue of the night. The more you take, the more you leave behind. Hmm. Footprints. Batman followed the trail of footprints to a large drainpipe. The hero flipped on his night vision goggles. The pipe led to a dark chamber with steel doors on all four sides. Suddenly, the doors slammed shut, trapping the superhero inside. Etched on the door was another clue. What can you swallow that can also swallow you? Hmm. Water. The ankle-deep muck started rising. It quickly reached the hero's neck, threatening to swallow him up. Just then, another steel door opened. The water rushed out of the chamber. Batman slid to a stop at the feet of Batgirl, his heroic sidekick. Good to see you, Barbara. Where were you? I thought the party for a moment. When I came back, everyone was gone. So, I tracked my father's phone. Batgirl spun on her heels. At her feet, a dark pit dropped deep into the earth. Now, let's get to the bottom of this case. Batgirl grabbed the grapnel gun from her utility belt. She fired the gun's metal hook into the concrete ceiling. Then she swung over the pit and began lowering herself down. The Dark Knight followed. As the heroes neared the bottom, a voice echoed in the darkness. Well, well, Batman's got brains after all. The Riddler stood in the water at the bottom of the pit. The commissioner was tied up on a ledge behind him. The two heroes hung above the floor. When the streets are clean, there's still scum in the sewers. Now give us the commissioner. <laughs> Hang in there. I have one last surprise. The Riddler raised his cane. He fired an electric bolt. Batman and Batgirl both swung to the side to avoid the blast. The bolt struck the water below their feet. 
Electricity jolted everything on the ground, including the Riddler. The villain passed out on the floor. The heroes lowered themselves down. The Riddler was right. That was certainly a surprise. Yeah. I believe he even shot himself. <laughs> Batman untied the commissioner. Thank you, Batman. Commissioner Gordon then turned to Batgirl, but the teen hero was already gone. Where did Batgirl go? That commissioner is a riddle even I can't solve. 